thing I did this weekend also is I caught some L's, of course, on the sneakers app as per usual. I tried to get myself a pair of the Tom Sachs um, general purpose shoe, the GPS shoe, and unfortunately, as per usual, even the restock, I wasn't fortunate enough to get a pair, even the bloody restock. And um, it's annoying, it's frustrating, but I have to be honest, the process and the sign up to do it on the Tom Sachs site was pretty, you know, pretty easy and pretty okay of a service to use maybe the other thing that they don't do is that when you sign up on the online form it's a pretty easy to kind of go on and it's all kind of plain text type of style so it's not really you know f flubbing you around with unnecessary graphics and animation and shit it's just the images of the shoe and then no it's just actually a page where you just fill in the form so everything an image of the, of the shoe so it's all plain text you fill in all your details location size blah, blah blah contact details and they only contact you if it's successful, which is nice because you don't get that kind of L email about, oh yeah, you, you didn't get the shoe, which is kind of which is kind of worse than getting than not getting it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of worse. I don't know why, because you look at the email, you think, oh, Tom Sachs email emailed me, Tom Sachs store, and you automatically think your brain that you might have got a chance and you scroll your eyes across to the subject line and it says, you know, unsuccessful or something. It's just a bit annoying. But I guess it's nice to be informed. But I do like the fact that they only shoot the only email you if you've been picked, if I'm not mistaken, because I didn't get an email telling me I didn't get picked. Maybe I, maybe I got one later, but at the time that everyone was getting picked, I didn't get picked. And then of course Tom Sachs himself on his Instagram account made his little update where he said the following sold out studio stock and new colorways to let to come later this year so i like the fact that tom sachs um with this collaboration with nike right um this uh, nike craft collaboration that they put together they're going out of their way to number one make a shoe that's clearly meant to be worn with the mars yards that are, i don't have them to hand here to show you but with the mars yards that i wore i wear all the time i'm actually going to put a picture up on the screen right now of the mars yards i have and the condition that they're in and you'll see that i actually wear my stuff every single day to the point now these shoes have turned into my gym shoes they're my de facto gym shoes i don't wear anything else to the gym apart from my mars yards and i'm probably going to get another pair um and then wear those also out and then probably turn them into gym shoes later on down the line so don't don't cry all right but that's just what i do but i like the fact that that was always a plan the original mars yard the midsole that he put together was basically put together with the purpose of attracting more dirt it was meant to be the kind of midsole that kind of i guess it doesn't have a particular finish on it i'm not sure exactly how it's what it's composed what it's composed of but i'm assuming it has doesn't have a finish on it that wouldn't sort of not attract dust or attract dirt you know what i mean it's not something that you could easily wipe away with like a wet wipe and stuff it does kind of stick to it and even and i think for the most part they did a good job because all their press releases i mean their press shots that they did quote unquote media shots whatnot they were all done with pairs that were clearly seeded out to people who wore them so they kept putting that kind of um what do you call it how do you call that uh that subliminal message in your head that these should be worn you never saw a picture of like some shiny influencer you know standing in some clubs where somewhere without bending them looking cool it was always somebody kind of working that was cool or that was interesting that was kind of the at the forefront of their field doing actual real work you know what i mean when they were kind of wearing a pair so i think that kind of set the precedent and they've done the same thing with this general purpose shoe even just in a name this is a general purpose shoe it's a shoe that's kind of you know fit for fit for general purpose it applies across the board and throughout the entire release tom Sachs has been saying hey these are going to be released plenty there's going to be plentiful of these they're going to keep coming out in different colors i think we've already seen a yellow and a gray pair that's been leaked online and stuff so clearly there's more colors to come and he's keep reiterating to everybody don't pay crazy money for the resale because i guess as flattering as it must be to see on StockX that the mars yard that i have the one that's absolutely beat up it's nice to see on StockX that they are selling for a crazy amount i think they're like last time i checked it was like 5k or something in my size it must be a little bit disappointing because you also want everyone to wear them you also want everyone to have a chance to buy them and i guess you know with his network and with his fan base that covers kind of a broad a wide breadth of people for the most part because i think he's maybe i would say the number one kind of artist within the scene at the moment when it comes to streetwear i think he's definitely surpassed somebody like a um takashi murakami or even like a daniel ashim i think with the with the quality of work he puts in with the fact that it's so kind of quote-unquote accessible with how he kind of carries himself with the whole studio i think he's definitely the kind of number one dude so you can imagine the kind of people who'd want to wear them right they kind of cover a whole breath and i think i remember when they first dropped the first thing i realized when i was in london uh, when i had in my pair was that i saw many people that i generally wouldn't see wearing those type of sneakers wearing the mars yards original ones and i also remember getting more compliments off of that shoe than any shoe i've ever worn 
the only other shoe I got more compliments off of was when the first sort of like Yeezy 300s came out. And I remember, what did I have randomly? I might have had like the Turtle Doves. I don't know what I had. What what what, my, what Yeezy did I have? I had a Yeezy when it first came. I forgot which one it was, but I remember that being, maybe it was a Wave Run I'm talking about, the 700. Maybe it was one like that. When I originally dropped, I remember that being one of the shoes that I got a lot of comments from normies, quote unquote, who generally don't give a shit about fashion and clothes and shit, who were kind of giving me compliments saying, hey, this is a really nice shoe, man. I really would wish I had a pair myself. So I guess um, because of that, he's generally leading into it and not kind of catered it to the influences and stuff. Because even when you see online, you don't see the usual glitterati of people like the ASAP Barry's and stuff promoting this stuff because they're not glitzy. They're not really flash. They're just, you know, they're a bit basic in terms of what they kind of look like. And you, all you see are real people. I, I, I would say real people, but you see people who actually I say work, right? Not like influencer work, like work as in like they have studios, they're a part of a corporation, they maybe, you know, have a gallery, they maybe have a little store, they maybe have a small client list that they actually work on five to seven days a week. Like people are actually out there putting in a graft. I don't know people I see wearing these day to day and I really want a pair too because, you know, they just look awesome and I think they'll go with a lot of the stuff that I have in my wardrobe. But unfortunately, this weekend I caught an L. 